Hi friends, welcome to our channel. So in our previous video, we have discussed about the methods in Java. So in this video, so we are going to discuss about what is constructor and how to define a constructor and what is the usage of constructor in Java. So let us get into this video. So first we will see what is constructor. So constructor is a special kind of method. Its name must be the class name. So now you can look at my code. I have a class my class and I am defining a constructor with same name. So constructor name must be the class name and the constructor cannot return any value. So now let me write a small println statement in it saying that I am a constructor. This is a way how to define a constructor in Java. So now I need to call this constructor. So the constructor will get executed automatically when I am creating an object of that particular class. So because of this object creation, so because of this new my class, this constructor will get executed automatically. So let us run this code and we'll verify our output. Yes, you can see it is invoking my constructor and it is displaying I am a constructor. So I am summarizing the points once again. So constructor is a special kind of method. The constructor name must be the class name and it never come with the return type. And when this constructor will get executed, the constructor will get executed automatically when I am creating an object, nothing but new my class. Finally, the constructor will execute automatically because of object creation. It is not because of reference creation. So for example, you can look at this code once again. So OPJ is the reference. It is pointing an object new my class. Because of this new my class object creation, it will execute the constructor. But here I'm just creating a reference. I'm not creating any object. So in this case, will the constructor will execute? No. Yes, the constructor will execute only for the object creation. Now let us run and we'll verify our output. You can look at our output. It is executing the constructor only once. So which means the constructor will get executed automatically when we are creating an object. It is not for your reference. So hope friends it's clear. Now we may get a question in our mind. So what is the usage of this constructor? So already have a method then what is the need of this constructor? So mostly we are using this constructor to initialize the values while constructing the object itself. So when I am constructing an object, I need to initialize some values, right? So that I can achieve with the help of constructor. So that's why I will say, so constructor is, uh, mostly we are using constructor to initialize the value of the variable. Let us see one scenario. Let me take us another program. To get a clear understanding, let me define a separate class. Let it be class employee. So you know that employees will come with their employee ID and some employee salary.
and they will come with employee name. Let me take these three properties. So I have a employee class. In that class, I have a variable employee ID, employee name, and employee salary. So already we know that when I'm creating an employee object, it is going to call my constructor. So during the construction of this object, I want to initialize my employee ID. For example, I'm saying employee ID is 101. And I will say employee name is let it be John. And same way, I will be initializing employee salary as some float values. Right. So finally, whenever I'm creating object of this employee class. So for example, in the main class, I'm creating object of employee class that will be employee one equal new employee. So because of this object construction or because of this object creation, it is going to invoke my constructor and inside that constructor, I'm initializing these three variables. Just to check our output, I'm making one method, let it be void display, which is going to display the employee details. Let it be ID. I'm displaying the employee ID. Same way I'm displaying the name. Also, I'm displaying the salary. So finally, this display method, what it is doing, it is displaying the employee details. So now let me invoke this display method to check my result. So let us run this code and we'll observe the output. So you can see it is displaying my employee detail as 101, name as John and salary as 2000.50. So which means what is happening here, the moment I try to inspect the object or sorry, the moment I try to construct the object, it is invoking my constructor and with the help of this constructor, it is initializing my values. So now I will be getting the after this constructor execution, after this constructor execution, I will be getting the complete object and inside this object, I have an employee ID, name, salary with these values. So now the moment I call emp1.display, it is displaying the ID, name, salary from this object. So finally, mostly this is the usage of constructor. We are using constructor to initialize the values while constructing the object. Now, let me create one more object and we'll observe the output. I'm just creating another object. Let it be emp2 equal new employee. So again, because of object creation, it is going to invoke my constructor and it is going to initialize the values after that i am invoking a display method by using emp2 object now let us observe our output
you can look at our output for both employee object i'm getting the same values but as per the real time scenario each employee will come with their own employee id and their own employee name and salary but now coming to this approach coming to this approach what i am doing i am hard coding the values or i am initializing the values inside this constructor so which means whenever i am trying to create object of this employee class all the employee object will be taking the same value right so now i don't want like this for each employee i want to assign a separate employee id separate employee name separate employee salary for each employee object i need to get the different value how to achieve that so in that case what i will do i will define a constructor with the argument so i will say first argument is employee id second argument is employee name the third argument is employee salary finally when i am creating object when i am constructing this object i need to pass three argument employee id name and the salary so that i will pass so for example for the first employee i am saying 101 and the name is john and the salary is 2000 and same way while constructing the second object i will be passing separate i mean or i will be passing the different values so 102 and some name and let it be some salary let it be 3000 right so while constructing a object i am passing some values so now since i am trying to create object by passing three input values id name salary so it will execute this constructor with argument so here i will say instead of hard coding i will say i want to assign this local value into this instance variable so already in our previous video we have discussed the types of variable what is local variable what is instance variable and what is static variable right so in case if you haven't to watch that video so you will be getting the uh, link in the description of this video so you can watch it so now i am going to assign this local to instance salary sorry it's e salary So now let us run this code and will observe our output. So this time we should get different value for each object. You can see this time I am getting ID as one zero one for the first employee object and one zero two for the second employee object. The same way name and salary also different. so i hope friends it's clear so finally this is the main purpose of constructor so i am just summarizing the point once again so constructor is a special kind of method so the construct name must be the class name and it never return any value and when this constructor will get executed this constructor will get executed automatically when we are constructing a object so that's why the name is constructor so what is the usage of this constructor while constructing a object i may want to initialize them some variables right so for that purpose we are using this constructor so hope friends it's clear so in our next video so we will see little more depth about constructor and method so in the next video we will be discussing about 
the difference between constructor and method so in real time so when should i go for constructor when should i go for method so that we will be discussing in our next video so thanks friends for watching this video so if you like this video so please subscribe and click on the bell icon so that as soon as i upload the new video you will be getting the notification so also you can share it with your friends